My name's Nikki, I'm 61 years old and I've been married to a farmer for 31 years. In 2017, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I felt absolutely perfect at the time, but thought I could possibly feel a lump. Besides that, I had no other symptoms and because I felt perfectly normal, I kept putting it off, going to the doctor. I did eventually go to see my doctor, eventually being probably a month after I felt the lump, and suddenly you are in the system and the NHS were unbelievable. First of all, I went for a biopsy and waited for the results. That's probably the worst. It then came back that I had cancer. For me, it was quite unbelievable and a real shock. We, all my family were in shock as I was extremely healthy, didn't drink much, never smoked, was physically active and no family history of cancer. So everyone was a bit in a bit of disbelief about it all. It was horrible telling friends as they instantly thought I was going to die. We had three children, so I had to be strong. You have to trust in the treatment you will get and remember people do recover. My treatment consisted of a lumpectomy and more tests to see if chemotherapy and radiotherapy was needed. They both were. Everyone's treatment is different and you have to put your trust in the doctors. Following that treatment, I was then given oestrogen suppressant treatment in the form of a pill which I took for five years. After this, I was then given the all clear. I had hit it on the head, I had smashed it and it was gone. It was great to be on the farm because you could get out and be with nature. It just calmed me down and kept my head in a good space. During my treatment, I needed help with practical things, but people don't always know what to do to help, so you have to be strong in asking for help. Be clear. I had great friends locally who would come and take me out for a walk, take me into the fresh air, which is perfect with friends because the risk is low, the risk of infection is low, and it's great to have sunlight and hear nature, and of course, plenty of coffee and cake after the walks. I had my treatment at Warwick Hospital and both the hospital and the Macmillan teams were absolutely fantastic. There was lots of information leaflets. We had talks that were given to us all about life and our treatment. And I was given information about support groups and health advice. There is an awful lot to take in. Always have somebody with you if you're getting information because you can't take it in on your own. My husband was a great benefit every time I took him that somebody else could remember what the consultant was saying to you. There are lots of hospital visits, lots of blood tests, and so the information provided was really useful from all the staff and the Macmillan teams. I was lucky I had friends to talk to, but I wouldn't worry if you didn't have this. Macmillan is your first point of call. There's always someone. They have experience and they know exactly what you are going through and are very keen on offering buddies. I'm doing really well now. My body feels great, absolutely perfect. I should have gone to the doctors the minute I thought something might be wrong. Even if you haven't got a history of cancer in the family, if something doesn't feel right, go to the GP. The earlier you go, better your outcome. Farmers, or those married to a farmer, are a tough breed. But we can also get cancer. So go to your GP early and nip it in the bud.